Hey everyone, my name is Artindi and I haven't been working in 3D for very long. In fact, the first time I ever did anything in 3D was in this last video that I made where I, I made this. I felt pretty good about it because I learned quite a few things. I just watched one or two tutorials on FPS movement and one tutorial on how to import these kind of things and, and textures and stuff. Um, and so with that, I, I went and made something a little bit more impressive. I, I would say is dramatically more impressive and I also made my own mechanic and this is an FPS mechanic that I've wanted to make for a very long time. I, I came up with this idea like forever ago before I even started anything um, game dev related and I'm going to show you what that is in just a second. I've obviously gotten a lot better at making uh, scenes. I've did a little bit of lighting as well. It's not the best ever and I'm going to make a separate video on how I how I created these textures and how I created this environment. Um, it's actually super easy so watch for that if you're if you're into that kind of thing and you want to learn how to do that. And this little teeny skinny Minecraft arm is actually supposed to be a gun barrel but I don't know how to model in 3D. So the mechanic is basically this. I can walk on walls. I can shift the direction which gravity affects me. It took me quite a while. I think I was working at it for about four weeks before I finally came up with a, a good solution, which um, I bet you there's people out there that could do it in way less time than that. And so this obstacle here becomes hardly an obstacle at all because you can just walk on the wall. In fact, you can come down and, and say hello to the spikes, hello spikes, and then you know walk back up and then you're at the other side just like that. So I think this is an amazing mechanic because it would it would provide such cool things, especially if it was an FPS game. So you got enemies that are, you know, on the floor and you're like, well, I need to get away. So you just, uh, well, I need some fine tuning. By being able to walk on the walls, you can change the the layout. So those pillars all of a sudden become obstacles that you can jump across. Here's like an elevator shaft that I made, right? This would be an impassable obstacle because how can you get up there? Well, now you can. You can just walk up the wall and get up there. I've looked for video games that do this, and there's a couple that, you know, they do wall running, and they do some things where you can shift the direction of gravity, but not to this extent and not with this ease. Now let's get into how I actually how I actually made this. There's a lot of 2D games that allow you to walk on walls, and that's actually super, um, super easy because you're only working on two axes, axi, ax, ax, two x and y that's or x and z i don't know just two of them right but then when you go to 3d all of a sudden there's three and it's very different <laughs> i named it area very creative so here's this box that i made i'm still getting used to the um the way you you maneuver around in let's see are we in the box now I, there we're in the box i made this little box room with different colored walls so that i'd be able to tell which direction was um, you know, north, south, west, east, up and down, and, and that way I'd be able to work out how to make this mechanic. However, I ran into a lot of issues because when you rotate, like let's say we rotate on the, I think this is the Z axis, if we rotate on the Z axis to change gravity to whatever direction that green wall is, um, the X, Y, and Z axes still stay exactly the same. They stay right where they are. Y is still here. Z is still here and X is still here. It doesn't change anything. I would rotate and then be try if you if you try to look to the right, the camera is going to look down at the floor instead of this way. So you have to you have to also change the controls for the camera, and then it becomes even more difficult because then when you you have to change the direction in which you jump, you now jump up and down on the X axis. It's just a whole bunch of messed up stuff, and it's even more difficult when you are looking in a corner like this if you're looking up in a direction like this and then you try to rotate and you try to change the the controls for the camera to whatever the new directions are um, you end up having your camera get messed up so in the actual um, Godot docs on 3d rotation I, I was trying to find solutions to this and and I read a whole bunch and tried to learn a whole bunch I can't I can't find where it is but basically they're just like yeah don't try to rotate yourself I'm um, using those those parameters because it just, just isn't going to work and I found that that was definitely true because as you can see as different things rotate everything else gets rotated and it just becomes a whole wonky mess and and uh, I still tried nonetheless even though the Google Docs told me not to I still tried to do it and failed hard and so I had to come up with an out of the box solution instead of rotating the player I rotate the entire world around the player so here I'm going to I'm going to try to show you how how that works. 
So if I click on this button, then it's going to show the view from there we go. So now if I, I can still control to R there. You can see my that's my gun. That's <laughs> that's the player there. Um, but when I when I change directions, um, the entire world um, will change directions instead of um, instead of see you can see me walking on the wall there. The entire world changes directions instead of um, I can't I can't move and talk at the same time. <laughs> I have the player. And then I have the rotation point. And the rotation point and the player are completely um, separate from each other. Um, I'd move. I'd, I'd set the world to top level, so it wouldn't it wouldn't move when the rotation point moved. Okay. So then I would move the rotation point to the location of the player, and then set the world to receive the coordinates of the rotation point. And then I would rotate on the rotation point, which would also rotate the world. Okay. And so then. In that way, I could rotate the world exactly at the location of the player and have it make it feel like the player is the one rotating. And then the way that I, I implemented the actual controls for rotating, this is me clicking the right mouse button. So you'd still be able to shoot with the left mouse button just fine, but then you can use the right mouse mouse button to change direction. Uh, like I, I was thinking of a bunch of different ways, like maybe if you're close to a wall, well, why am I shaking? If you're close to a wall and then change directions, then it will just hop, make you hop on, on that wall. I thought that would be the easiest way to do it, but I wanted to have more liberty than that. That seems very confined and, and not very, you know, you can't do a whole lot. So I wanted to be able to do things like that, just switch directions, or even from across the room be able to, to fall in that direction. Um, I, well, I guess I was inspired by a chat wheel. If you've ever used a chat wheel and you know what I'm talking about, you just hold a button to chat and you move your mouse towards the thing that you want to say. And then when you let go of the chat button, then that's what you say. If you don't move your mouse in any direction and click the right mouse button, then you'll fall forward, right? Gravity will change to that direction. If you, if you um, look up while holding the right mouse button, then you'll flip upside down, okay? And then the exact same things, look right to fall to the right, look left to fall to the left, and then look down to fall um, backwards. So it's super simple. And can you imagine how cool this would be if it was like a multiplayer FPS game, right? You'd be in these cool environments where anybody could be walking on any surface. And like maybe there's a doorway and you could just stand here to, to wait for them to pop out and you shoot them or, or you know like this right and then there's so many different ways that you can take cover normally you'd have to you know hide behind a corner like this right but now now like this door down here you could use the door frame to hide behind right which that's just never been done before it totally changed the mentality of fps players because they'd have to be watching for enemies in different directions they'd be able to hide in totally different new places i'm not going to make a full game on this yet i'm going to wait for the next big update for um, godot where they're going to be um, using vulcan and all that stuff it'll make 3d working in 3d a lot easier and a lot more streamlined i hear so i'm going to wait for that before i actually do any more work on this um, but the logic is done i figured out how to get it to work and it was a lot of work but um, I don't like this wall here so in a future video I'm gonna be taking out this wall and I'm gonna show step by step exactly how I how I make these uh, different surfaces and walls so that people who want to do something like that can be game everybody wants to make an FPS game because whew, yeah it's awesome right it's really cool anyway I don't know what else there is to show I think this is awesome let me know what you guys think if there's any cool things that you think I could do with something like this, let me know, and I'll, I'll, you know, I'll write it down. So hope you guys appreciate it. Hope you guys think it's cool, because um, you know, that's uh, it'll make me feel validated. <laughs> no, just kidding. Um, but thanks for watching. Let me know what you think. Again, um, I hope you enjoyed, and you have a beautiful day.